Cisco VPN and Microsoft. Microsoft Azure AD and MFA with dynamic access policies with SAML attributes and always on VPN. Now, we're really going to be focused on the always on VPN portion. The other pieces have already been configured in previous videos. So the first thing we're going to do is install AnyConnect Profile Editor. We'll go ahead and hit next. You can select custom here, but everything's already selected. We'll go ahead and hit next and install. It'll do its thing. And once that's ready, we'll go ahead and click the VPN profile editor. So let's close a couple windows here and we'll go ahead and do that now. Now I've already created a profile here. So we're going to open that up and I'm going to walk you through each piece of it. So we'll go ahead to preference part two. You can see there's a lot of settings here and we're gonna enable automatic VPN policy. There's trusted network policy, untrusted network policy and trusted DNS domains. So the trusted DNS domains is gonna tell us that we're on the trusted network and turn off always on VPN. Now the always on we're gonna enable and the allow VPN disconnect is going to allow users to disconnect. But if they do disconnect, the only access that they're gonna have is, is to the login.microsoftonline.com. Now there's connect failure policy that allows captive portal remediation um, and some local resource access as well. So you can be fairly restricted here. Um, our connect failure policy is going to be closed. Now we'll go to serverless. We've got to populate this here as well. I only have one in my environment, but we'll go ahead and put in the display name, the FQDN, and my backup's just going to be the IP address of that device, but that would be a second um, FQDN in your environment. We'll go ahead and save that profile out and we'll jump into Firepower Threat Defense. Once we do that, we'll go to Object Management where we're going to upload the profile. The pro profile then will be applied to a group policy and then we'll go ahead and test it. Let's go ahead to AnyConnect file and we'll go ahead and add AnyConnect file. Once we do that, we'll go ahead and browse to the file always on, the file type. We'll select AnyConnect VPN profile. And we're gonna go ahead and clean up the name here. We'll just call it always on VPN and we can save that out. That's all we have to do for um, uploading the profile. Now, how do we get it to the user? Well, that's where we assign it to a group policy. So let's go ahead and do that here. So we've got this default Azure AD GP or group policy. Let, that's where we're gonna add it. So we'll go ahead and hit can, any connect and right at the top here, it's got profile. We're gonna go ahead and grab that client profile file of always on. We'll go ahead and save. And the next step would be deploy this to your FTD device. Once deployment is complete, we can go ahead and test. So deployment's been uh, activated and let's go ahead and jump to our test machine. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll do a quick connect here. Now remember, at first, the profile does not suggest that it's always on. So um, they need to connect one time first and then that always on will be set. So that's what we're doing here. We're gonna go ahead and connect. So go ahead and put in that username and we'll hit that password. We'll have the multi-factor authentication. We'll go ahead and click accept here. Now remember some SAML attributes are gonna be passed back from Azure AD and we're gonna use those to deploy a dynamic access policy, specifically sales for this user. There's that banner, that default banner. We'll go ahead and hit accept. We're establishing a connection. Now the profile has been set now and let's go ahead and say okay to the banner. So we've gotten the dynamic access policy and we're gonna go ahead and hit disconnect. Now what's gonna happen here is um, it's gonna say that VPN is required. So connectivity externally now is not available. So if you try to access something like cisco.com, um, it's not gonna do anything, it's not gonna go anywhere. So um, the only way now we get connectivity is if we connect and you can see 
it automatically started that connection on behalf of the user. Go ahead and we'll go and do the login process again. Put in the uh, username, password, multi-factor authentication, dynamic access policy, all that stuff still works, right? It, it, nothing there changes. It just ensures that always on VPN is always on. So we'll go ahead and get logged in here. We'll say accept and that's it. It's configured for always on. So all we have to do is edit the profile of the uh, AnyConnect client, uh, assign that to group policy, deploy it, and we are good to go. Thank mm -hmm. you.